Yeah, the boys are loading a few boats. This is a 7400. Um, so it's WB 7400. This is going to be a dive boat. That's a dive ladder there. We make up dive ladders, hatches up forward, uh, lifting lugs everywhere. Uh, this one's got twin 60 horsepower Merc C Pros on it. But just show you in the back here, that's your, you've got twin batteries, you've got the fuel tank, you've got the fuel filter. There's a bilge pump over in that corner over there. There's another bilge pump here. Then you've got the console, isolator, and lots of workers in there. Now, yeah, this one's also got the uh, fenders top and bottom. The fenders aren't in yet, they get put on when they're in Australia. But that's all your nuts and bolts in place. There. Uh, then we come up to this one. Oh, this one's the one we, that, that gets used for the um, pushing the big ass uh, barge, the 40 ton barge. What we've done to this one, we changed it so that you've got a big central tow point here, and we've increased the size of these bollards here, there, and these bollards go all the way down uh, through to the floor. So you'll see that at the back, but that's... I'll just stand back a bit so you can get a bit of an idea. This is a WB5900, and this one's got having the 250 horsepower uh, Yamaha put on at the four-stroke. Um, there's the console, that's the floor, non-slip floor. You've got your tie rails, tow rail, forward storage, uh, the rear seat's flotation, the floor, under the floor's flotation. Uh, all these boats are actually CE approved, so you don't have to go into survey. Uh, you just do a uh, self-declaration online with AMSA, and away you go. You can put it straight into use. So you see that one there. You see there, you've got uh, CE Category D. So all you've got to do, and that's the, that's the HIN number. Again, standard fit-out, fuel filter, bilge pump in the corner, twin batteries. And this one's got this, the um, added uh, extra work in the floor and the uh, transom, so you can handle a 250 horsepower. But that's the one you're looking at there. Uh, you'll see the bollard there, that bollard goes all the way down to the floor, same as at the front, same as that one there. We've got another one, this is a standard, this is what we got in Brisbane on Monday, it's a white colour one, the one we got, this one's blue. Um, and the fendering only goes up to here, stops at the first bollard. So you'll see that's the bollard there, that's, you know, it's still a substantial bollard. Um, I'm just going to show you one of the other ones with my hand. But compared to this, it's, it's small. That's, you know, give you an idea. Quite a bit of difference. So again, uh, this one's CE approved, they're all CE approved. That's the boarding ladder at the back there, that gets put on when you get into, uh, and again, come down the arse end, this one's set up for a uh, 60 horsepower motor, or 150 horsepower, whatever. That needs a vacuum out there, but you see again, standard fuel pump, uh, sorry, fuel filter, build, uh, bilge pump there, batteries, fuel tank, and there's another... Another one over here, another build, another build pump here, another build pump here. But that's all that there, that's the second one. Quick tour of the factory. So you've got a few boats lined up there, you've got a, uh, a 12 metre ferry, that's going to Australia. That's a 10 metre work boat, that's going to Australia, that one in the middle there. These ones here, that's a small, what they call a brute punt. That's just all ready for its uh, paint inside. Uh, boys are cutting another work boat over here on the CNC machine. And down on the jig we got another, this is a brute punt, another small one. That's a five metre boat. This one's a uh, heavy duty recreational. This one, that's a new model. Or you can double as a little work boat. Again, CE approved. You can put this one in the survey. Again, category 2D. 
all there. And that's it.